Today is the day that my friend Jimmy is bringing the wrecked Nissan Leaf and dropping it off. I'm, I'm very curious to see what I'll discover once the car gets here. Like I said in a in the previous video, I bought this car. It was it was kind of a risky buy. I don't know how much battery life is left in the battery. I've cleared out a garage spot for the wrecked Nissan Leaf and kind of repacked all the stuff underneath the 911. The next challenge is going to be how to get this car off the trailer. You want me um, to back it in there? Yeah, so if you pull, you can kind of go up. Nice. I don't think that's holding air. If we can get the front tires on the ground, it will be good. We can put the parking brake on and then I can slowly pull it out. Yeah. The ramp's still in? All right, I think I'm just gonna slowly pull it out. This is all the air conditioning here. Yeah. Yeah. But it does have the electric AC compressor. Yeah. So you, you can use that if you are so inclined. I was thinking about that and the power steering too. Yeah. The protections, right? Like if mm. something, if there was a cut wire or a short or something, still not going to hurt the big battery no. by trying to charge it. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's, there's enough safety that it would be fine. Okay. But I want to know what I bought. <laughs> I'm going to start cutting away at this thing. Nice piece of aluminum. Okay. All right, so I'm making some progress. This is my first kind of discovery here is it did crack the inverter in here. That's okay, because actually that's the thing I don't need. I need the thing above it and below it. These are the parts I've pulled off so far. You need a horn? So you can see this whole part is like smashed in pretty good. So I'm trying to just pull this part up, get this part kind of loosened up and pulled out. Nice. Making progress. My goal now is to uh, the charge door is locked and so I'm going to try and get that open and then see if the car will charge. Getting close. Let's just cut this uh, side off. So you can see I've swung it open here. And now I just need to cut this plastic. Uh, shoot. I just broke the door for the freaking Chatamo. I got my fire extinguisher ready. Moment of truth. Okay, it's not charging. That's, uh,. Unfortunate. 
It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. It's all gonna be worth it. Kind of been a long day. I'm gonna try and get this thing in the garage. You can see it's kind of like really far that way to the that part of the garage. So I'm gonna try and pull it this way. Well, I got it to power on. So 26,000 miles. You can see the, this airbag went off. The side airbag here went off. The full curtain all the way to the back went off. This one didn't though, the front one, which I would have thought definitely sh probably should have, but I guess if the impact was more laterally, it's good that all these went off. The navigation's telling me that this car lived up Four Mile Canyon, which is like five miles from here. But it was in Portland. Interesting, that's interesting. I'm wondering if there's a way for me to figure out the battery. What's a quick way to figure out how much battery life is left? If the, if the dash doesn't know, somehow the, the car doesn't know, it's like disconnected from the battery because it's not showing battery temperature. You can see over here, and it's not showing battery range or state of health. Also thinks it's minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'll show you this. I'm in park right now. If I go to drive, it goes to neutral. It won't go in drive. It won't go in reverse. It'll go in park. All right, well, it was kind of a long day. Um, Jimmy was a huge help. Getting the, the, getting the car off the trailer was not easy. Um, you can see I've cut quite a bit of stuff off already. Um, the front and... Uh, I was able to get it in the garage and uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'll kind of keep going with it. I need to, I really need to figure out what's going on with the battery. Like it would be great if I could somehow figure out what the state of health of the battery is, how much life is left. If y'all know a hack or some way to um, find the battery, just the condition of the battery um, with everything that's going on, you know, Somehow the dash doesn't isn't able to communicate with the battery. Um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to learn, so uh, I don't really understand totally how it all works yet. But um, I'm just fingers crossed that the battery in this car is good. Anyways, thanks for watching this quick update. Um, I just wanted to get this out there because it's kind of exciting and interesting to have this wrecked car arrive, and you know, this. This will be giving new life to this one. And uh, I think it'd be, it should be pretty sweet. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.